Hello everyone. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to take a quick look over a sensor that is HTS221. To know more about this sensor, let's go to controlleverything.com and here search for HTS221. Now, HTS221 is a capacitive digital sensor for relative humidity and temperature. And here are some of its features. Now, I will be interfacing this sensor with a particle photon today and for that I require a code. So, go to resource tab and here is our particle code sample. You can download this code sample from this site. Uh, click on this and you can have this sensor code. Now the code is also available on our GitHub repository that is control everything community. You can download it from there also. Uh, now we will look over the connections which we require for the hardware and let's proceed further. Now let's have a look on the hardware connections part. First of all we require a particle photon which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield. It's available on controleverything.com and it's very useful in making connections with other I2C devices and rather makes them very easy. So gently push the particle photon over the I2C shield like this and make this connection. Now we require our sensor that is HTS221 and a connecting cable. Make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing goes for the I2C sheet. Now this is a micro USB cable which is required to make our particle photon power up. So insert it here and these are the connections which we require. Now let's have a look over the code. For the interfacing of the sensor with a particle code, we require the code. So for that, please go to github.com and here type in control everything community and click on this. Now here search for HTS221 which is available here right now. Now this is our particle code which we require. Before going to the particle code, we have some instructions. First of all, we have to log in to our photon and set up our device. This connection or link will help us to guide how to connect our photon and so on. Please follow it. Next, we have to download or get pull the code and we have to copy the code on the online ID. Now this link, built link will help us to build our code and please follow this link. At the end of this, we have to verify and flash our code on the photon and code will be output on the dashboard. This dashboard link will help us to see your output on the serial monitor. Now these are the instructions to connect and verify and run the code. Now get back to the our code and this is our particle code with .in extension as you can see. First of all we have included some of the libraries which we require and 0x5f is the address of our sensor. In the void setup function we have some variables we have selected and here we have initialized serial communication with baud rate 9600. Coming to the writing section, we have selected average configuration register having address 0x10 and here we have selected temperature average samples along with humidity average samples and the uh, command for that is 0x1b and we have written it here. Next we have selected the control register 1 having address 0x20 and we have selected power on continuous update mode and the command for that is 0x85. This is the right command for that. Now we have several variables like here and we have read humidity calibration values from address like these and so on we have converted humidity data. Going on through next we have some temperature calibrations value which we have read from addresses like 0x32 and so on we have read and calibrated and converted the data. Now going on this like we have here requested the data from the address 0x28 and with the command register 80 and these are in the OR condition. Here from these address we have requested and read 4 bytes of data which you are able to see on my screen. Next for the conversion part we have our humidity and C temp or temperature formulas which you are able to see on my screen. These are the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet of H2ST21 and you can have a look over them. 
at the end of our code we have our output data and the form of relative humidity and temperature in celsius and fahrenheit so this is how our code is now let's have a look over the interfacing of the code with the sensor for the working part first of all copy this entire particle code and go to the build terminal as discussed earlier as you can see it's opening and here create a new file with this name and here copy the entire and now save the firmware now verify the code and now flash our code now we have to check for the flash magenta which is the sign for that our code is ok now it's verifying for the flash now we have just seen the magenta flash is there and our flash is successful now go to the dashboard link which we discussed earlier on the user logs and here we can have our output data in the form of relative humidity and temperature which you are able to see on my screen so when I press my finger on the sensor there is a change in temperature and relative humidity now again pressing there is a change in temperature and relative humidity again so this is how our code works now let's proceed further so we have just seen the working of temperature and relative humidity sensor HTS221 it's an ultra compact sensor it includes a sensing element and a mixed signal ASIC to provide the measurement information through digital serial interfaces. This makes it available for wide range of applications like air conditioning, heating, ventilation, variable devices, smart home automation and many more. HTS221 is available on our website controleverything.com and the particle code is available on the same site. You can also download the particle code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. If you have any further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and post your comments on our community page. For more articles and blog like this, you can reach us on instructables.com and also on hexter.io. For more video tutorial like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a good day. And thanks for watching.